I'm gonna give you the five best shoulder exercises that you can utilize to improve your shoulder health for baseball. And we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dan Miller from GarageStrength.com. If this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in becoming a better athlete, you wanna get stronger, you wanna be healthier, you wanna be a freak, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you become a beast. So a lot of baseball players are hesitant to get in the weight room. They're hesitant to do different movements because they're constantly worried and concerned about the stress and the inflammation that playing baseball can put on their shoulders. So instead of actually targeting that weakness or targeting that actual joint, they completely avoid it altogether because they've had somebody that played baseball in the 1980s that told them, hey, you're gonna get big and bulky. Hey, you're gonna lose your mobility. You're gonna lose that ball speed. You're gonna lose that capability to throw very, very effectively. And you know, one of the big things that you can do on the field is to actually practice long toss. I think long toss is one of the best things for shoulder health. Okay, but when we're talking about actual movements in the weight room, some of the real key factors that we can do right off the bat is that there's a lot of rotation in the shoulder joint. So if we can get into the weight room two to three days a week and focus on just standing here, okay, and we're gonna do banded external rotation. And this is one of those key movements where every baseball player could do this two to three days a week. It's not gonna cause a ton of pain. It's not gonna cause a ton of problems. Mm -hmm. And then as we're coming back through that eccentric movement, we wanna go very, very slow. And a lot of players will have pain here if they're a right-handed pitcher, right-handed ball player, right here's where there's gonna be a little bit of pain. So they need to actually squeeze and learn how to use their rhomboid and their traps. And now, because of the banded work, and you're doing it properly, you're gonna have a little bit better coordination and that's gonna to lead to a healthier shoulder girdle, a healthier shoulder joint. And so if we wanna bulletproof that shoulder, we can go nice and easy. I recommend about a seven to 10 second eccentric and try and bust out, you know, 10 to 20 reps. Do this for three sets. And now all of a sudden, that entire shoulder is going to rotate externally and internally a lot more effectively. That's gonna to lead to a healthier shoulder and a lot less pain and better performance on the diamond. Okay, so that next movement, another banded exercise, and you can do this laying on your side with a dumbbell. Anything along those lines is gonna be beneficial. So this is a standing banded power raise. So a power raise typically would be if I'm on my side and I use a dumbbell, but here I'm gonna be standing, okay? And I wanna focus on my rear delt, I wanna focus on my rhomboid, I wanna focus all on what my shoulder blade is going to be doing. Nice and long, I don't wanna be bent here and flex in my elbow. Long elbow, okay, a full raise, standing all the way across, okay? So, and to make this a little harder, if I wanna make it a little harder, I can move this band in, or I can use two bands here. Oh, that's pretty hard. Boom! But if I wanna make it nice and easy to improve that coordination in my rear delt, rhomboid, even my trap, mid trap there, coming all the way across, you're gonna get a nice pump in that upper back. And this is going to lead to a lot more effective control of the ball. Your shoulder's gonna be healthier, your shoulder's gonna be sturdier and more stable, and that's gonna provide a much more solid foundation for when you're actually throwing, which is going to alleviate a lot of stress and a lot of pain on your shoulder. Okay, so that next key exercise for shoulder stability for baseball players, shoulder strength is gonna be a pressing movement. Now listen, baseball coaches and baseball players, you won't die if you press a little bit. In fact, it's gonna help your shoulder strength. It's gonna help your shoulder stability. It's okay to press a little bit. I know you're still gonna say, oh, you're gonna get big and bulky in your shoulders. It's okay. Okay. What we like to utilize is a rotating thoracic kettlebell press. So we're gonna rotate. We're gonna extend and rotate that thoracic spine and press, okay? And so what this does is it helps coordinate our trunk with our shoulders. It helps improve our shoulder girdle mobility in our thoracic spine. It helps create a little bit more stability, okay? And it helps coordinate our triceps with our deltoids, with our rhomboids, with everything that goes into our shoulder girdle. So it's important that we train the skill of co-contraction inside of our shoulder, okay? So if we're rotating 
and we're improving the shoulder mobility and we're actually focusing on our rhomboid and our traps together with that anterior deltoid and we're getting the press with the deltoid in conjunction with our tricep. Now we're gonna have an improvement in our co-contraction through various ranges of motion. And that's a key concept behind shoulder health for baseball players. So utilize kettlebell uh, rotating, thoracic rotating, kettlebell presses. I'd say once or twice a week, you can go lighter one day to just work on mobility. You can go heavier on another day to work on your strength, okay? And do this over time build into it, don't go heavy right away, improve the actual movement, and then over time you can add and your shoulders are going to be a lot more healthy. I believe this is likely the best movement that baseball players could do, and it's gonna be a dumbbell external rotation, okay? So I want almost a 90 degree angle from the knee into the armpit, okay? And we want the backhand here, nice and controlled eccentric. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up. And this is gonna strengthen the rotator cuff drastically, okay? And on top of that, while you're strengthening your rotator cuff, it's gonna help with pitching, it's gonna help with throwing, it's gonna help with long toss, it's gonna help with that shoulder stability. Whew, this is burning. It's also gonna help with your pressing and your pulling. So this is a movement that's gonna keep your shoulders healthier. It's gonna bulletproof your shoulders while you're trying to increase your pull-ups or your, or your bench press or your dumbbell bench or your, or your rope climb. And so utilize this twice a week. And again, you can do three, three sets of 12 with a lighter weight. Maybe you have a 10 or a 12 and a half pound dumbbell. And then you wanna increase your strength. And I believe that because your shoulder is a little bit more faster twitch, if you do 25s to 30s, work up to that. Slowly build into it. Make sure you have that controlled eccentric. When you have that controlled eccentric, if you have any tight areas or any pain areas, go super, super, super slow for that eccentric tendinopathy. Okay, nice and slow, nice and slow, slow, nice and slow, and then come back up. And that's gonna help improve your shoulder stability over time. Okay, so last awesome exercise to improve your shoulder strength for baseball is going to be a Meadows swing, stolen directly from John Meadows. This is one of my favorite movements for your rhomboids, for your mid traps, okay? for your rear delts. So we're gonna go nice and just nice and short. Okay, longer duration. What we wanna focus on is squeezing that shoulder blade, hugging our spine at the top, just like a little bit of rear delt, upper back work. That's the big key factor for, shol for shoulder health for baseball players. It's upper back work. It's a lot of upper back work, okay? Over and over and over. You're gonna start to feel this a little bit in your rotator cuff as well. It's gonna feel nice. And the whole point is long duration, time under tension. That's gonna improve your stability. It's gonna improve your general power output. And when your shoulder is more stable and you have greater co-contraction in your shoulder, you're gonna be able to throw a little bit harder. So I like to do meadow swings, two to three sets of 40 reps, working straight through that movement, okay? Fire this up, it's gonna bulletproof your shoulders. If you want a program to help increase your shoulder stability, click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up our baseball bulletproofing shoulders program today. If you want more content around baseball, click on this card right here. Until next time guys, peace.